This is the blueberry turnover. Oh boy. So I went with the chocolate shake. So let's do a few of the curly fries. Mmm. All right, let's bite into that. Oh, look how big that is. Isn't that scrumptious? Look at all that meat. Man, am I full. Woo! Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another mukbang just for you. I am in the great city of Brantford, Ontario, Canada. Not to be confused with Bradford. Uh, this city is just west of Hamilton, like way south of Toronto. It's, uh, I'm here to pick up Ben. He's in university and uh, he told me to pick him up at 12. I said, I'll come down there early because a lot of, a lot of you guys wanted me to do the Arbinator. So uh, I knew that Brantford has uh, an Arby's. So I decided to grab a bunch of stuff and eat it and talk to you guys about Christmas holidays and stuff. So I grabbed the the double arbonator. There's the, the single, the double, I lost a fry. Not good. A single, double, and then the half pound or the pound or whatever it's called. They don't call it, I can't remember what they call it. And then I also grabbed something I've never had. I always try to grab something new that I've never tried. And uh, this is the blueberry turnover. Oh boy. So that's gonna be my dessert. We're gonna try and eat everything. Uh, so it came to 15.34 uh, before the taxes was third. Was it before taxes? The subtotal, yeah, it was 13.57, and the final total is 15.34 here in Brantford. Always like, always like when you guys put in the comment section uh, what you, what it costs in your area. It's always nice to compare. So I went with the chocolate shake. I'm like pretty much done with anything mint. Oh, this Thursday, I'm gonna do the Tim Hortons, like all their holiday stuff for a Thirsty Thursdays. Their chocolate milkshakes uh, are pretty good here at uh, Arby's. And I thought I'd go, you know, get the whipped cream, the chocolate sauce. I'm gonna blow your brains out with that. Wow, all right. So let's do a few of the curly fries. Mm. Again, this is a mukbang. So I'm gonna eat lots of food and just chat. I'm gonna try and make sure I eat more than talk, so. Mm-hmm. What I'm gonna do, open this up. Put that in there. There we go. Now we're talking. Check that out. That is perfection. It was kind of cool. There's a gentleman in there who recognized me from Aurelia, which is like two hours north of Bra uh, of Toronto. I was I recognize you? And I go, yeah, I'm the YouTube dude. <laughs> And uh, <clears throat> I thought he just recognized me from the channel, but he recognized me from Aurelia. And I'm like, what the hell are you doing here? It's like so far distance, but they relocated him to, I guess, help out this store, which is kind of cool. So it was nice meeting you. He said he's going to watch the video later, so. Mm, the milkshake is crazy thick. If you like thick milkshakes, Arby's the place to go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Really, really good fries. Mm. Just a little hint of spice to it. Okay. So, the Arbonator is just their roast beef, curly fries, um, their cheddar cheese, mel their melted cheddar cheese stuff, spread, horsey sauce, and then the Arby's sauce. So, it's like all their sauces on the one sandwich. I'm wondering if they put it all on the bottom. Yeah, looks like it. Looks like they put the horsey sauce, the Arby sauce. Looks good. Let's see if they put anything on there. Oh, there, yeah, that's right. So the bottom was the Arby sauce, the horsey sauce, and the top is the cheese goo. It's snowing here in Brantford. They're calling for no snow Christmas this year in, in the southern Toronto area. 
or southern Ontario, southern Ontario area. All right, let's bite into that. Oh, look how big that is. Isn't that scrumptious? Yeah, it is. Mm. I love their horsey sauce. Man. Does it get some on my face here? Okay. Mm hmm It's nice. Roast beef. You always have to have horseradish. And their their horsey sauce is basically horseradish and mayo, like blended, so it's it's all nice and smooth. That's what it tastes like. I bet that's what it is. So it'll be nice to have Ben home for a week. The cats and dog miss him. The dog and our calico cat, our female cat, both were sleeping on his bed today, this, this morning. Almost like they knew that he was coming home. I have to clean up his room a bit. I've been storing all my camera gear in there. So I had to move uh, all my camera equipment and drones and everything off of his uh, work desk because uh, he's probably going to bring his computer home. What all that meat? I wish I had an Arby's close to my house. I would, I would frequent it more often than I do now. Just good sandwiches. I don't think I'm gonna be able to drink that by the end of the video because it is it's solid thick. Which is a good thing if you if that's the kind of milkshake you want. But when you're making a video, look at this. Boom 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 boom. When you're making a video, you gotta you don't want to spend a half an hour drinking a milkshake. Oh yeah. The uh, curly fries on that. I think in the future, when they stop making the Arbonator, because it's probably a limited time thing. I'm going to put uh, curly fries on my... If I order a combo, I'm going to put uh, some of my curly fries onto my sandwich, extra horsey sauce. I honestly think here going forward, if you ask for a meal and the limited time offer is over and you said, oh, can you put some curly fries on that? I bet they would. And if they didn't and you ordered the meal, uh, I bet if you asked them for horsey sauce, the Arby sauce and the cheese sauce on your sandwich. They would do that and then just pick up some of your own fries and throw them on. That's good. Mm hmm. It's so, so much food. Protein overkill. Mm. I'll see if I can get Ben in one food review. Well, I've got him at home. Hopefully. You'll probably want to do today's vlog. Just to tell the people who watch my vlogs. How his first semester was in university. How much he loves or hates Laurier. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely not going to be able to finish that by the end of this video.
if you follow my Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, you may have saw a picture I put up last night of all the presents all wrapped. So last night was my wrapping night. So all my Christmas shopping is almost done, but last night was my wrapping night and so that's all done. It was melted so I could drink some. That was good. Oh yeah, come on, melt. Melt, baby. Handcrafted. Arby's. Arby's, please put an Arby's like, I don't know, Vaughn area. Right between, just north of Toronto. I bet it would do well. Let me know if you remember any Arby's in and around the Toronto area. I would love to know the reason why they don't have one. Or if they did have them, why they, they maybe they just didn't, weren't doing well in Toronto. I don't know. I don't know the history of Arby's. Mm -hmm. In fact, these ones. Man, am I full. Woo! I hope you grab something to eat while we're sitting here chatting. Let me know in the comments below what you like or dislike about the mukbangs. I kind of like them. Because it gets away from the whole review thing. Some people don't like how I review, fu re review food. So this isn't reviewing food, it's just eating, chatting. In future mukbangs, if you guys want me to talk about anything specific, uh, I think I always ask you guys in these videos, in the mukbangs, what subjects you would like me to discuss with you, current events, keep away from religion and politics. It just causes problems. So let's stay away from politics religion. Let's just talk about stuff in general. YouTube, if you want. The latest crazy thing on YouTube is, is it either Friday or Saturday, YouTube does a big purge. Usually one, once a month. What the, the YouTube computers goes through because people make up multiple, multiple accounts. They might start a YouTube channel to do this, and then that, and then this, and then they forget about that first one they had. And it's been sitting there dormant for a year. And so YouTube's like, well, it's just using up space. Might as well just delete that channel. I'm not sure what the, the the like the um, the the prerequisites, I guess, is the word. I don't know what they look at to determine which channels get deleted, and when they do that, you know, I I think I lost like 250, so I went from gaining. I guess it maybe is more than that. No, it says it it tells you how many subscribers you gained. I mean, how many you lost and where you're gaining subscribers and where you're losing subscribers. So if you did a video about something, about let's say uh, politics, and then half the people who watch that video just unsubscribe because they don't like what you think about your president or prime minister or whatever, uh, then you'd you'd have you'd it would show you which video people are unsubscribing to you. So maybe don't do those kinds of videos. That's kind of the information you can get at the very very bottom. It says deleted channels or canceled channels or something. 
something along those lines. So I lost about 250, I think it said. And again, they're just dead channels, so. I watched a video of Kid Behind the Camera and he phoned Jesse from Juggernauts and um, there, he was discussing the fact that when they when they lose subscribers, when you go into the minus subscribers for the day, YouTube actually stops promoting that channel. It's, it's kind of stupid. That's what, what Michael was talking about uh, to Jesse. Is like, he goes, YouTube purges all these channels and then it makes makes your channel look like you just lost a bunch of subscribers which you did but they're dead channels anyway and YouTube caused that and when they cause that then they stop promoting your channel so you get less views on the next couple videos because YouTube thinking that just people aren't subscribing to you so why promote your channel anymore in most watched or whatever they call it so there you go a little information so this is the first time I've done one of their turnovers. I didn't notice um, a dip in views. I just noticed the dip in, in um, subscribers. So it didn't really hurt my channel that way. But because Michael and Juggernauts, you know, they, they I think Michael said he lost 1,300 subscribers. And the the fail the one swoop of a wand lost 1300 and juggernauts i think lost about the same but there was another guy they were talking about lost 5000 subscribers so the the more channels i'm sorry the more subscribers you have and the longer you've been on youtube reflects on how many subscribers you lose when they do a purge and i don't i just can't remember how many purges they do per year maybe it's like three or four because every time it happens people kind of like get all freaked out i'd rather not have a bunch of dead subscriber channels on my subscribe to my videos youtube actually might do that also too uh, to help prevent fake channels or sorry, people from buying subscribers and stuff. And so there's, I guess there's companies out there. Whoa, what's this? I got food all over me. This is really good, by the way. This is very messy. Lots of blueberry goo. I'll phone Ben before I leave. After I do this video. See if you want anything. Mm. Last bite, people. Last bite. Super messy today. It's still very, very thick. I can't remember what day Christmas is on, but I might be able to do one more mukbang before Christmas, or I think it's on Christmas. I don't know. Yeah, I think Christmas is next Tuesday or Wednesday. So I'll have one more mukbang for you before Christmas. Uh, I'll see, see if anybody else wants to be in it. Um, we do have some plans coming up about with Paul and Mark Andre, Mark Andre and I are going to do another chocolate bar, um, uh, I guess challenge. And then Paul and I need to do some Japanese ramen noodles that are supposed to be really hot and spicy. Uh, so there's there's a little update for you. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching my mukbang. I really appreciate that. If you like these mukbangs and you want to keep watching them and you don't want to miss the next one, let's say. Hit that subscribe button that sits around around here. Click the notification bell so you don't miss the next one. But if you want to show your support for me doing these videos just for you, please hit it with a thumbs up. Ding, 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 ding. Excuse me. That's how good it was. And we'll see you in the next Kendomic Mukbang. Kendomic out. Cheers.